morning, I'm Mariah and this is Caroline and we have uh, two big boxes of, of stuff to, to open today, uh, 16 kilograms and uh, 12 kilograms, so pretty heavy stuff. Um, let's just dive right in. First one, first box, first movie is Bumblebee, a new Transformers movie, very fun. Oh, it's got John Cena in it. It's got John Cena in it. <laughs> Um, aging backwards, connective tissue workouts, Miss Miranda Esmond White. Oh, well, like, like with a chair and stuff. Oh, nice, neat chair workouts. Mm -hmm. uh, Vice, but with Amy Adams, Steve Carell, Christian Bale, Sam Rockwell, and Tyler Perry. That's Christian Bale, guys. <laughs> Hold it close. Whoa! To look at him. Yeah, that's a uh, dedication. Yeah. He really oh, Sam uh, Rockwell looks just like George W. Bush, too. Right there. <laughs> Creepy. Uh, Clint Eastwood, the mule. Mule. Oh. Inspired by a true story. I'm sorry, we're gonna show this because it's a <laughs> live action impossible. <laughs> I was oh, gonna show it because it, it was kids. I was obsessed with Kim Possible and her and um, her best friend and his naked mole rat. I wanted a naked mole rat so bad. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, Frommer's Thailand. Thailand. It's good. Ooh. And uh, New, New Frommer's England. New England. Just both sides of the planet. Yep. Uh, some YA fiction. Arthur Slade. Uh, hunted Amber Fang. Oh my goodness, the tagline, after my heart, the librarian, assassin, vampire. All great things. Is it, is it YA? What's it called, Amber, Hunted Amber Fang? Yeah, it's YA. Huh. Ooh. Awesome. Some, um, some new audiobooks. Uh, Alan Bradley, we had a request for more mystery audiobooks. So we've got, a, we got in some of the Alan Bradley series. Nice. So uh, Golden Tresses of the Dead. Graves of Fine and Private Place. Thrice uh, Bin Brindled Cat Half Mewed. The books have great titles. Yes, they do. Yeah. And The Sweetness of the Bottom of the Pie. This is the first one. Yeah. Classic Canadian. Flavia de Lutz. Is that the. Well, yeah, 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 really uh, precocious uh, young girl. Mm -hmm. Oh, and um, I am half sick of shadows. Hmm. What's the uh, read by Jane and and Twistle? Yes. Oh. I'm always hoping for someone famous, but one day, one day. Uh, James Patterson, Miracle at St. Andrews. It's a nonfiction. Oh no, it's fiction. No it's fiction. Yeah, it should be a large print as well. Okay. Oh, yep. And here it is. I've got my hand right on it. Looks. Oh, golf. Yes. Well, St. Andrews, where they claim golf was invented. Ah. Although apparently the Chinese have been playing golf for quite some time as well. So kids' books. There you go. Uh, the Last Voyage of Poe Blythe uh, by Ali Condi. Oh, she wrote the uh, she wrote the Match trilogy. Mm -hmm. this, yeah, that was also, a really familiar. Is this YA? No, nope. it's adult. Yeah. Uh, the tagline is, who do you become when you have nothing left to lose? Ooh. Good title. Intriguing. Oh, and the cover is like, um, map lines. Like, what's that word? You know, like the... Oh, the elevation things? Yeah, lines. elevation lines. That's it. Nice. Um, it wouldn't be a week, a, a, a weekly unboxing if we didn't have something with the word Trump in the title. So uh, here it is, The Threat, How the FBI Protects America in the Age of Terror in Trump by Andrew G. McCabe. And there's, speaking of good author photos, that's a pretty darn good one. Has done a lot for nonfiction in yeah. this presidency. Yes, it's true. Uh, Claws of the Panda, Beijing's Campaign of Influence and Intimidation in Canada by Jonathan Manthorpe. Ooh, very topical. Mm-hmm. Uh, David Mulrooney wrote the tagline, uh, as compelling it is, as it is disturbing, an important book. Mm. Uh, the Trouble on the Books, a castle bookshop mystery by Essie Lang. Oh, sorry, sorry. Good cozy mystery. Nice. Oh, 
Oh, brand new and lucky. Uh, the Raven Tower. She wrote some award-winning science fiction, uh, Ancillary Sword and oh. um, uh, Provenance. Uh, all really good science fiction. I'm not sure what this one is about, but as soon as this video ends, I'm going to go read about it. <laughs> 50 Things That Aren't My Fault. Essays from the Grown-Up Years by uh, Kathy Geiswhite, creator of Kathy. Kathy! Nice. I'm sure that one will be popular. Yeah. Oh, new uh, Iris Johansson, Dark Tribute. Tribute. That will definitely have holes on it. For sure. Yeah. Oh, and... Oh, no, Linda Fairstein. Linda Fairstein, Blood Oath, uh, the large print version. With her great author photo. I call back to last week. <laughs> and uh, David Rosenfeld, Black and Blue. I thought he wrote about animals. Yeah, I thought he does. I guess this must be a different series because he does the the dog, uh, yeah. the dog series, Hound. Uh, something. It says a dog, a Doug Brock thriller. They Call Me George: The Untold Story of Black Train Porters in the Birth of Modern Canada by Cecil Foster. There it is. Perfect. And another James Patterson. Uh, the Fall of Crazy House. Yep, I got a notification. Because I do all the posters, so Google thinks that I, I really care when James Patterson publishes a new book. So every two weeks I get a little Google notification. <laughs> James Patterson's publishing yeah. thing new. Well, that's book one. I mean, box one. Is that the one with book one? Oh, uh. Someone drew a little sketch of uh, Fred Flintstone and Barney Rubble on the boxes. Yeah, it was super cute. I, I, you're right, I'm not seeing it anymore. There we go. Ooh. All right. Oh my gosh, some good ones. Yeah. Okay. New Ways of Understanding Autism uh, by Brigitte Harrison and Lise St. Charles with uh, Kim uh, Tui? 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 Oh, didn't she write, um, Rue? Maybe. Anyway, there we go. Important, uh, important book there. Winning with ADHD, a playbook for teens and young adults with attention deficit and hyperactivity disorder by Grace Friedman and Sarah Chayette. Okay, so it's for young adults to read, is the YA. Awesome, and it's nice and, uh, it's nice and thin. Oh, bullet points, not a whole lot of uh, scary text on the page. Nice. Perfect. Yep. Oh, uh, Susan Dennard, Wind Witch. Uh, I believe we got the first yeah, one. Yeah, Blood in. Witch. Was Blood the first Witch. One, right? uh, so this is the second or third in the series. Young adult fiction. C.S. Harris, Who Slays the Wicked? A Sebastian St. Cyr mystery. Good. Title. Yeah. Very ominous cover. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Oh, uh, Defy Me uh, by Tahira Mafi. Didn't we just get one in recently? Yeah, and this says we get we have two copies. Remember, you accidentally ordered the paperback, and so it took a really long time to come in, and now we have two of the. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Get some there prizes, some okay. some teen prizes for summer reading. Fair enough. <laughs> When All Is Said by Anne Griffin. Five toasts, five people, one lifetime. Oh, Louise Penny wrote the tagline. Mm. Beautiful, intimate, tearful, aching and lyrical. So simply and beautifully told. Lovely. Interesting. So it's kind of apost apostolic, but toasts as opposed to like letters? Fantastic. Jamie's Friday Night Feast Cookbook. Epic weekend recipes for friends and family. Oh my gosh, uh, great photos in the back there. It looks really good. I'm impressed that he still has all that hair. <laughs> Another cookbook, Bake the Seasons, Sweet and Savory Dishes to Enjoy Throughout the Year by Marcella DiLonardo. Yum. Yum. Thank you. Oh, new Oprah Winfrey, The Path Made Clear, Discovering Your Life's Direction and Purpose. Thank you. 
Allie Carter. Uh, Dear Allie, how do you write a book? Oh, it looks like there's a whole bunch of different uh, featuring contributions from your favorite authors. Jesse Andrews, oh, hey. uh, Maggie Stiefvater, Mary Lou, Marissa Meyer. Oh, it looks like Cassandra Clare. Oh, yeah, all sorts of YA authors. David Leviathan. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. Gordon Corman, Ken and Hale. Like all of your big name. Maggie Dive. I can never say. <laughs> Maggie Stiefvater. Yeah. Wow. Awesome. Yeah, cool. For any of your teens out there who are interested in writing something. A new graphic novel, bat a new Batman graphic novel. Excellent. Oh, there lots of lots of great picture books. Ah, oh, okay. Here we go. Uh, oh, the Pathfinder Playtest rule book. Lots of uh, lots of exploding interest in Dungeons and Dragons. So mm. this is a, an alternate um, pa uh, system. Yeah, called Pathfinder. Go. Similar but different. Similar but different. I think it's more a few more like in depth rules for people who like uh, a more structured. Play. Yeah, yeah, I think so. Awesome. Anyway, that's it for this week. We'll uh, we'll see you again next week, and bye. bye. <laughs>